Welcome back pioneers to my channel Zaki Crypto Update. In today's video I'll be talking about the accepted documents and the process to pass Pi Network KYC. Please do not forget to tap the subscribe button below, hit the like button, and don't forget to click on the notification button below to always get notified when this channel posts a new update. The Pi Network project is an innovative cryptocurrency project that is designed to make cryptocurrency accessible to everyone. To ensure the security and integrity of the network, the project requires pioneers to pass a Know Your Customer KYC process. This process is designed to verify the identity of pioneers and ensure that they are who they say they are. In order to pass the KYC process, pioneers must provide valid documents to prove their identity. These documents must include a valid photo ID, such as a driver's license, international passport, or national ID card. Once the documents have been submitted for Pi Network KYC, the next step for a pioneer is to wait for the approval of their account. The approval process can take up to a few days, depending on the number of documents submitted and the complexity of the verification process. During this time, it is important for the pioneer to remain patient and not submit multiple requests. Doing so could delay the approval process and potentially lead to the account being rejected. The pioneer should also ensure that all documents submitted are valid and up-to-date. If any of the documents are rejected, the pioneer should submit updated documents as soon as possible. This will help to speed up the approval process and ensure that the account is approved in a timely manner. Once the account is approved, then the Pioneer Pi crypto balance will then be migrated into the Pi wallet. Pioneers will then be able to access their Pi wallet and use it to send and receive Pi cryptocurrency. They will also be able to participate in the Pi Network community, which includes other Pi pioneers. In conclusion, once the documents have been submitted for Pi Network KYC, the next step for a pioneer is to wait for the approval of their account. They should ensure that all documents submitted are valid and up to date, and remain patient during the approval process. Once the account is approved, the next thing is to wait for the migration of it into the Pi wallet. By following the KYC process and providing valid documents, users can ensure that the Pi network remains secure and that their identity is protected. This process is essential for maintaining the integrity of the network and ensuring that pioneers can trust the platform. A parental consent functionality may be added by the core team to allow miners to complete KYC later. It is intended that all pioneers participate in KYC. However, as the legal age of consent in the United States is 12 years old, it is advised that children under that age not open a Pi account. The KYC form also stipulates that a person must be older than 18. As a result of their children receiving digital assets at such a young age, should the core team decide to take this suggestion into consideration and add parental consent capabilities for young pioneers, it will ultimately save parents' maintenance costs. They must mentor them so they don't mistreat them. Thank you, guys, for watching my video until the end, this is where we draw the curtains on today's video. Don't forget to support my channel by tapping on the like button, clicking the subscribe button below, commenting, and clicking on the notification button below to always get notified when I drop a new update.